Tonight, I'm going to speak about my hometown, Taras. It has, give, it has given everything to me which I have today. And I've decided to give something back by speaking in front of you about this remarkable city with great spirit. In fact, Taras is the most ancient city in our country, more than 2,000 years old. And it's the city where Kazakh nation was founded in the first place. That's where our history starts. But I'm not going to speak about the, how beautiful it is, what kind of buildings are there, and stuff like that. You can check all those things by yourself in the internet. What I'm going to speak about is the legends. And believe me, for more than 2,000 years, this city has got a lot to share with all of us. My speech is about how those legends happened in the past, they repeated again in our days. Which proves that the city has never lost its spirit. It has always been great, and it still it is. So I'm going to tell you about three stories. That's it. No big deal. the books 
of Hans Christian Andersen and Chinggis Aitmatov into Kazakh, and many Kazakh-speaking people, including me, could read those books and learn a lot. That's how he's going to be remembered for his great contribution to the development of his society because of his hard work and intelligence. My next story is about love. A legend happened in 11th century. Emir of Taras, Karahan Baba, fell in love with young 16 years old lady Aisha Biba. They decided to get married, but her father was against that marriage. But couple still decided to be together. She left her hometown with her nanny to travel to Taras to unite herself once and forever with her sweetheart. But on the way to Taras, when only 10 kilometers left, they decided to have a rest on the shore of the lake. And right at that time, the snake bit her. The message immediately reached Karahan Baba and he immediately got there. When he arrived, she was about to die. But he decided to still marry her. In fact, it's the only case in the history of humanity when the king married almost dead woman. And as a memory of his love, he built the mausoleum, which has stood for more than 1,000 years, and it's still there. And it's a place of pilgrimage for any couple who want to be together forever. And let me tell you how this legend repeated again in our days. Ainur and Bolat, they were two Bolashak students studying in the UK. They met each other there and they fell in love with each other. People who knew tell that they deeply loved each other. They decided to get married and everything was arranged in Taras and everyone was waiting for them. They decided to, get, to take a flight from, through Baku and Aktau to Taras. In the plane between Baku and Aktau during its flight over Caspian Sea got crashed and sank into the sea. When the rescue team found their bodies, they discovered that they were tied to each other by seat belt. They decided to die together. A special monument was built in Taras to immortalize their love. And again, it became a legend for the generations ahead. My next my third story, the last one, it's about dignity. It's about protecting your people, standing up against enemy. 18th century was a devastating time for Aulata city, for Mataras. It was invaded by Kokan Empire. And Kokan Empire imposed the tax for the citizens of the Taras. But the tax was 
high and unbearable. But the rule was, if they don't pay the taxes, they have to give their wives and daughters. But Bizarre Butter decided to stand up against and let the rebels group. He made the army of Kokan to leave the Taras. And Kokan understood they cannot defeat this man, they decided to cheat. They invited him for peaceful negotiations, and when he showed up, they caught him. And they killed him by keeping just in front of this gun and fight the gun. And let me tell you how it repeated in our time. 2011, my hometown experienced the biggest tragedy. There was a terrorist attack organized by Islamist extremists. A terrorist was shooting the people on the street, walking by walking around. For half a day, the whole city was under big threat. But the captain of police, Gaziz Baitasov, came across the terrorist. And instead of running away, he started fighting with the terrorist. And when he realized that terrorist has a bomb and he is going to explode it, he covered the terrorist by his own body. He sacrificed his own life. His two sons became orphans and his dearest wife lost her husband. But he died with dignity in order to protect his own people. As a child, I grew up listening to all those stories, just like any other Theresian did. Those legends teach us certain values. The first legion teaches us that to care more about educating yourself, education, rather than having the high position or title. The second legion teaches us to care more about loving someone who is worth of loving instead of having many girlfriends. And the third legion teaches us to care more about not losing your soul and dignity rather than be, being just rich. And because of those values, the city has gone through all the types of disasters in this life and has never fallen.